Hello my friends, so locked down in London with a botanical eye and today I wanted to look at this with you. So this is a tree, very big, can get to be a very big tree. Uh, so it's our beach, so Fagus sylvatica. And how are you going to know it's a beach? Often the leaves, as you can see here, they stay on the tree. Not always, but you, so if you see a tree that's got lots of persistent leaves that are dead, they're brown, then you, that can be a sign that you've got a beach. The other thing to look for on the beach is the bark is very smooth, it's not fissured. Now, it depends on where you are, you might be seeing quite a bit of lichen on the bark, so that might discolour it a little bit, but normally it's grey and very smooth, and at the base of the trunk it's almost like an elephant's foot. Another thing to look out for for beach is the leaves take a long time to biodegrade. Often between, beneath a very mature, large beech tree, there's a carpet of leaves. So in the autumn, it's a real fun one to be kicking up the leaves in the autumn and having that lovely kind of crunch under your feet. So the bud, buds of beech are quite long and pointy and they have scales on them. So you can see they're about one and a half centimeters long and they're alternate as they go up the stem. One thing I often really enjoy noticing is in this one bud here is the material that will evolve into being a stem and in here are usually about four, four leaves that are packed into here and one of them is a small leaf like a runt leaf so that's quite a nice thing to look out for. In the springtime the young leaves are quite a nice roadside snack once the leaves become quite mature as summer progresses, as spring progresses into summer, then they're, they're not so nice anymore, but they're quite a nice roadside snack. But please also follow the SSE code on my website before you, which is written on my website before you taste any wild food to make sure you're safe and it's sustainable. So sometimes beneath the tree in the winter time, you might actually see um, the residual beech masts, which are what cover the nut the nut of the beech is edible. Sometimes you have a mast year where you've got lots of seeds inside the mast and other times not. And the other thing about beech is it's a hardwood. And so it's a very good wood for burning and it's a very good wood for building with and it grows fast. So it has that advantage against other hardwoods.